All right, so we bought this product over here. It's in Italian. God damn it! Italiano, io parlare no italiano, io mamma italiano, io parlare no italiano. Fangulo la mia macchina. Italiano so solo come preparare un espresso freddo. Ah, I got it. Good. Let's continue. <laughs> Okay, after this uh, craziness that I got with Italian, I translate uh, what we saw here on the Google Translate and it says this I'm gonna speak like Italiano since the program is Italian Okay, we have to empty the radiator and after we close the bottom, the, the top tab then we, uh, then we drop this uh, chemical inside the radiator and we leave the engine to work for about 30 minutes Then we empty the radiator, we put water from the tap and we let the engine again work for 15 minutes so 45 minutes of gas is gonna be wasted after that we remove all of the water and we put the radiator coolant so let's go to the mini and let's blow it see you in a minute first of all we remove the thermostat and the grill in the front so we can have access to the radiator in my case the Fletcher has a tap on the bottom and it's easy to remove all the fluid that you have inside so let's do this and see what happens now I remove all the water and also I took the, the thermostat out in 72 degrees here it is I'm not showing the process because I believe you can do it but I'm gonna show it right now now I'm gonna fill the water from the tap and I'm gonna put the chemical inside and I'm gonna leave the car run for 30 minutes. Let's check if we have water leaks. No, from here we are okay. From here we are okay, from the bottom we are good. Alright, now we put the cleaner inside. Be careful because it's gonna make you burn as I read. Now I'm gonna start the engine. I'm gonna let it work for 30 minutes. Okay, have the car working for around 15 minutes now. We have another 15 minutes to go. And then I'm gonna show you what it's gonna split from beneath after the rust from the engine goes out. Then I'm gonna remove the pushes that goes to the heater matrix inside. I'm gonna put water to push out all the chemical stuff that is gonna stay in here. And after I'm gonna put new water on the car. I want to show you something. After half an hour working with the Fletcher radiator, the temperature didn't go over there for half an hour. So if you have question about the radiator, the alloy, just put it. Without thermostat, and I put a 74 degree thermostat, it doesn't get any heat. Now the moment of truth. We let the car work for half an hour. I'm gonna empty now the tap from here and you're gonna see how much dirt it's gonna get out. And I did top, it's full. Oh my god. Oh check this out. Ooh. Here you go. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, ton of rust came out. No, I'm gonna open the tap on the top and I'm gonna remove. Okay. I see a lot of rust coming out. I'm not sure if you see on the video. Now I'm gonna wash the radiator inside. All 
right. Now I put water inside to clean the rest of it. Jesus Christ. It's so dirty, I can't believe this. and put the water from here so I can push the rest of it out and then we put new water and let it work for another 15 minutes okay now I put water inside the block to clean the rest of it and the rust is coming out Whew! that's a lot of rust and I'm gonna put the water inside there until I see clean water coming out of the radiator not sure if you can see it doesn't have any point to show it before now this is how you do to remove when you put the the chemical inside the engine it goes on the heater matrix I have it uh, the valve open so the water passes through so now what you do to remove uh, any chemical left inside you remove this one and the circle goes from here goes from here and then out of the radiator okay we we'll remove this one and we we'll take this out we we'll put it here so it makes a circle and goes out on the radiator Now, clean water comes out, so we are good. Right, now I remove all the water, I remove the heater matrix and I press water and all the rust came out. Now I'm gonna refill water inside and I'm gonna let it work another 15 minutes. First I'm gonna put the hose, in the hose over here and after we're gonna drop again all out the water and after we're gonna put the new fluid and we are ready to roll. Let's put the hose back together for the second time. Okay. Now we put the hose back together, easy stuff. We get our tub for the radiator, we fill it with water and we let it work another 15 minutes. Okay, let's go for the second time. Now it's completely empty. Okay, we are good. We are now working for 10 minutes. In 5 minutes I will shut it down. I will remove the water. Alright, now the second 15 minutes have passed. And now I'm going to screw again here on the top, on the top, to see if it's in rust left over. I remove the cap from the radiator. And now let's remove here. Okay, now I can see clean water. Okay, no more rust inside there. So everything seems perfect. Now let's put the coolant on the radiator. We 
we don't have any leaks on the bottom so we turn it we tied it very good still needs more to go Now it's full but we have to turn the engine so the coolant goes into the heater and then we put some more and we are ready. Now that the water turned, let's see how much more we want. I see it's full over here. All right, I had the car out for one hour. Usually it's 28 degrees outside and uh, the temperature was always rain. Now in the city, it goes more uh, on the back, so it works around 15 or 20 degrees slower than before I clean the Engine. So, the conclusion, it took me around two hours to clean uh, the engine from the rust. I took the car out for one hour and the difference I noticed is that on 28 uh, degrees around, the car worked a little bit to the left from the N number on the water temperature gauge. And usually at this temperature outside was on the end letter and was going upwards. So I'm really happy with the result. I did it myself because I went to a local store to ask for this job to be done and they asked me 60 euros. Why to give someone 60 euros for 50 minutes uh, work? And I made it for uh, 8 euros, that was the chemical, and around another 8 euros for the coolant. So with 16 euros I did it myself. For the next video I bought the Power Spark ignition so I'm converting uh, my ignition system to electronic. Also my distributor it's the 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 Soulier, the French one I don't know I don't remember the name. Ah wait du Soulier, yes it says here. So I bought a new cup also because on my mini this little spot in the middle that gives the power plug, it's uh, gone, it's 20-30 years, I don't know, and I also to be new one, like this. I forgot the last part, and also a new rotor arm. So, see you in the next video, where I'm gonna use this, all of this, to convert my ignition system to electronic. Have a nice evening, thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.